What up, world? It's your boy C's from the CesarLife.com. I want to address this whole Vanguard BlackRock situation or dilemma, whatever you want to call it. So within the community, there are rumblings. People are a little nervous because the the anxiety is that when we start to run. BlackRock and Vanguard exit their position. Now, BlackRock and Vanguard collectively, just those two institutions, own upwards of 90 million shares combined. I think uh, Vanguard is 42 million and BlackRock is 45 million. I have more questions than answers. So first question is, how did they get their hands on that many shares, you know? And they have been increasing their position throughout last year, you know. How did they get their hands on that many shares when uh, retail owns the float? Retail, since the last count, owns about 80% uh, 80 of the float, right? Who knows if that's still the case? We A, we A can own more, B own less. Who knows, right? How did they get their hands on that many shares? And the the uh, whole um, the whole uh, dark pool situation. Now, when you're dumping that much shares, that's what the dark pool is for. It's for it to not affect the market. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to suspend dark pool um, activity. That's another question. Like, are they going to suspend dark pool activity? Uh, just so they could dump those 40 or 90 million shares into the market, right? That's the next question I have. Now, there's no answers to that, right? We're all just speculating. But if there is, if people are feeling nervous, just try to find those answers first before, you know, you just stress yourself out. Because it's like, how did they get their hands on that many millions of shares, 90 million shares, and if so, if they were to dump it, will they be using the dark pool or will they be dumping that, those massive shares in the open market, right? So, like, so much craziness, so much questions, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I wouldn't sweat it right now because, you know, I feel that's a good problem to have. And, right? If retail is going to be selling a, 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 at a big volume, like let's say retail collectively, the highest volume is around $2,500 a share, right? Will they be using the dark pool then, you know, so it doesn't affect the market? If it's a managed event, will they be going to the open market or dark pool again? Like there's so many questions and I feel like you know, before we go all crazy and get all anxious, let us get the answers to those questions first. You know what I mean? Let's do our due diligence um, and ask those questions first before we get all nervous and whatnot. But yeah, that's 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 me. That's my standpoint. I have more questions than you know. Before I can shake in my boots, you know what I mean? Let's get those answers, yo.